Hello everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. So, fun unboxing today. Bonus points if you guess the uh, manufacturer before we dig into this. Mountain High is helping us out with uh, their oxygen system. We've chosen them for the oxygen system in our RV10 build. And we have selected the 4IP system, which is the four-place built-in setup. So here is what comes in the first box. So the system is broken up into multiple kits. So the first kit is mostly plumbing and fitting pieces, right? So what you're going to need to sort of fit things. Um, so a bag of fittings, as expected, electrical connector. And uh, electrical connectors looks like D-sub and uh, push fit um, plumbing, as expected. A bag of plumbing and sort of little mounting uh, pieces so that you can uh, keep all of this sort of out of the way and run it nicely. Mounting brackets, really nice mounting brackets for the RV-10. We're gonna be figuring out how this works, right? So we're gonna be documenting the whole install and um, you know where we're going to put things, how we're going to mount them, uh, you know why we chose the system, things things like that. Uh, here we go. Here, this is the backup or emergency oxygen switch. It's a pneumatic switch that puts the regulator into uh, bypasses all the electronics in the regulator. It's a pneumatic setup, um, and puts the regulator into constant flow mode. So if you lose electrical power in the airplane, for example, or something goes funky and you're not sure what's going on, flip that switch and it puts the regulator into constant flow mode and you're just gonna get O2, right? It's not gonna be um, pulsed, it's just gonna be O2 coming out. And here we go, here is the regulator. So the regulator does not usually, sorry for the, shaky cam there. The regulator does not usually come in this kit. I have asked for it to come in this kit because we're doing a slightly different setup than usual. So usually a built-in system like this, the tank is set up so that it doesn't ever really get removed from the airplane, right? It's not common to remove it from the airplane. So the regulator is built into the tank and it's sort of a fixed setup. Um, but because we wanted to remove the tank for fills, and in particular because my local scuba shop will fill an O2 tank for me for 10 bucks. So instead of paying what I've heard FBO prices can be everywhere from 25 bucks to 250 bucks, I heard someone say in a really like poor location, um, I've decided that I want the tank, that's right there, to be removable so that I could just drive it to the scuba shop 20 minutes away, get it filled and save myself, you know, 100 plus dollars. So the regulator is here early just so that we can mount this. When you buy this kit, unless you specifically ask for the regulator to show up early um, and tell them what, you know, what you're doing and things like that, this won't come until I, one of the last kits, um, I believe possibly the last kit with the, with the oxygen cylinder. Um, I'm just looking at this. This is really nice, really nice workmanship. Um, just, yeah, I'm just really impressed with, with how some of this stuff looks. And it comes with its test log, with all the pressures that were measured, um, how it was configured, you know, which cylinder it's set up for, serial numbers, transducer setups, transducer serial numbers. All that kind of stuff, right? This is life critical equipment. You're up at fifteen thousand feet. You want your you want to trust your O2, and that's why they include you know to show you that this was really tested and each individual unit is tested. We're gonna get to the tank in a minute. I actually want to open this box. This is pretty cool. So in here, sorry, this is shaky cam. This is an unboxing, not an official. <laughs> Build Fly Go series video. This is a sneak peek unboxing video. Um, really nice printed color manual. Uh, looks like sheets with, yep, mounting stuff. Yeah, really nice. Oh, and then a, a wiring diagram sheet. We're going to go later on, once we're installing the system, I'm going to go through this wiring diagram with you guys so that you can see how we're wiring things. Um, this is also available on their website as a PDF, uh, but uh, we're gonna go through all of that so you can see how, you know, how to wire it and how to set all that up and how it works. All right, five little boxes in here. 
there are four distributors. This is what goes by each individual seat. Look at that, that's really nice. Really nice machining work, like really nice finish. Oh, that button feels awesome. I'll just, just hear that. That just feels nice. <laughs> Things I notice, right? Like, really nice. This looks nicely deburred. I hate it when I get metal pieces and they're not deburred, right? Like, I understand that the, that metal pieces will be hidden inside the airplane, but like, this is nicely deburred. Um, very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. It's lighter than I expected. It's got a nice push fit. Yep. Push connection. Very nice. Um, there's four of those, right? It's a four place system. It's the four IP. You can also get a two IP setup, which is their two place system. And in here is the fill port. Um, I believe they call this one also really nice sort of machining and, uh, um, looks like it's anodized. Really, really nice. Damn, guys, good job. <laughs> I'm not getting paid to say this. I really like this setup. <laughs> um, gosh, I wish I was paid to say things like that. Um, so this is the fill port. So if you, a, a normal built-in system, the fill port is the main way to fill it up. We're still going to install this, of course, because we want to have the flexibility of having FBO come out and, and uh, fill our O2. But as I said, I mostly want the uh, to be able to take it to my scuba shop. So the gauge goes on. There's a little cap there, and the gauge goes on it. The gauge is not installed because they don't know which orientation you're going to be installing this in the airplane, right? So you want to – that way you can screw the gauge in and tighten it so that it's facing the right way so it's not upside down when, when you install the fill port. Um, but very nice. I really – you know, really nice packaging, really nice – Feel to the equipment, nice and solid, doesn't feel flimsy at all. Um, yeah, pretty happy with this. Nice setup. Okay, let's take a peek at the tank and let me tell you about this tank. Um, obviously, I've already taken it out of the uh, the bubble wrap because it was really hard to, to see what was going on here. So this is a scrap tank. So they mail you a scrap tank for you to do the fitting. Here we go. Original Hydro Beyond Service Life. Um, because these tanks have a service life of X number of years. I believe these in particular are 15-year service lives. Um, and uh, a, a lot of tanks are like that. But in particular, these, um, uh, these wire-wound ones, these are composite. Uh, there's an aluminum core, and then it's wound with um, a composite material and then epoxied. So the DOT uh, requires that these expire after a certain amount of years. Um, in this case, I believe it's 15 years. Someone will correct me if I have this wrong. <laughs> I know it, um, as you should. And uh, so the idea is they're going to send you this with the first kit so that you can fit everything, right? Like so that you can run your lines, so you know where your tank is going to go, so that you know how to remove it and install it, so that you can use the, the hose coast uh, clamps um, and the mounting brackets to fit the tank. And then with your last kit, you would get your final tank, which would be fresh, right? Which would have a, you know, hopefully a, a hydro or a, a born date, uh, you know, within a couple of months, within a few months. Um, that's the idea because then you don't have this tank or your final tank sitting around for possibly a year while you're building an airplane. Right? You don't want that. There's just wasted, wasted lifetime on the tank. And as they have scrap tanks, why not? It totally makes sense. So this is really nice of them. Thanks for, thanks for shipping us a scrap tank so we can fit that. Thanks for giving us some stickers. And uh, yeah, over the next few months, we're going to do some deeper dive videos on installing the system, wiring the system, where we're installing certain things, like where we're we putting the distributors, where we're we putting the fill port, um, where in the back of the airplane we're going to go behind the baggage bulkhead, um, the tank and the regulator are going to go, as I mentioned, we're doing a slightly different setup than stock, right? The regulator usually is threaded onto the tank. We're actually going to have the regulator mounted separately with a hose that goes to the tank and the tank's just going to have a valve on it um, so that we can remove the tank for fills a little easier. But yeah, great setup. We're really excited about this and uh, stay tuned for more.